Uh, my name is Johnny Connolly, I'm from the Rye River Haylage Company in Minute, County Kildare, and this is our MX135. It's uh, one of four we have. Uh, we have this one since 2008. The paintwork was a bit faded on it, so we decided to respray it. Uh, Larkin Mara painted it for us, and he painted it in Lexus Black, which is just a little bit different and suits the tractor very well. He put a metallic flake in the lacquer, which sparkles if uh, we get any sunshine. Uh, the tractor is mainly used for mowing. Generally, that's its main job is mowing. Maybe four or five hundred acres a year, that's all it would be doing. We have a crown mower that we pull with it. Uh, it might be raking sometimes and spraying, a bit of dump trailer work. Uh, it's 8,000 hours in it. The tractor has been completely faultless and totally reliable, as they all are. We've no problems with them, so long as you look after them. It's change oil. We change oil in it every tw twice a year, and any the needs it gets. And once you do that, the tractor's perfect. So we're going mowing today. We have a second season crone trail mower and um, lovely tractor from Owen the hydraulic lever is just where you want it power shift is direct it's a uh, mow away 10 mile an hour all day long never any crop no problems probably should have a front mower on it to get the output in the later crops but it's something we look at down the road we find it to be great tractors there's about 40 something thousand hours on the four of them they just keep going and going and going um, drivers love them they sound great We've always run case tractors here, or internationals. We had uh, internationals here since 1977, 40 years. Uh, one of them is still here. Uh, we have a 1455 and a 1255 and two 784s and 956. We have way too many tractors for what we use, what we need. But it's nice to have a spare one or a backup one if something breaks down. It's better to have a new machine on the back and a spare tractor than having a new tractor that costs a fortune and loses money. Then reliability in more modern stuff is, my opinion, is more questionable. Unless you have warranty backup, you'd need to be doing big hours for that kind of work. Um, we do all our own maintenance and servicing and know them inside out now at this stage. So the MX has a B-series Cummins engine in it. The engine was used in a huge range of applications, from trucks to bulldozers to diggers to tractors. The engine is bomb proof. Uh, this tractor did drop a valve one time. The spring, the collet on the spring broke. The valve dropped, we thought the engine was gone. Rotated the engine by hand and the valve came back up again and put a new spring on and it cost me 40p and it's been going since. So we've never had an engine issue at all. Um, once the oil is changing them they just go and go and they sound like thunder coming down the road and everyone knows when we're coming. Most MX's and particularly MX135's are putting out more than standard. This one is a little bit more than standard, it's 140 at the shaft. We have another one that's 165 at the shaft. Not really an issue, they did have issues with crown wheel and pinion that's well known but it was mainly from tractors that were screwed out and they were ploughing I mean nothing no tractor that size was if you want a tractor for ploughing like that it's a magnum you want that kind of power going through it uh, we've never had an, never had a transmission issue done brakes in them but that's a standard wearing part um, the fuel consumption is far better than anything else we've ever used definitely we had a Puma for a little while and, and it couldn't stick to diesel compared to what this tractor does I suppose in terms of buying these tractors or anyone that's interested in buying a more classic machine you can't go wrong with that era from 6010 John Deere's to New Holland TM's they were all great machines in my opinion at the time um, the only thing to watch out for on an, an MX to look at is mainly brakes make sure there's a good pedal and good stopping power not too much grinding or groaning front axle uh, with front with front suspended uh, suspended front axle can be prone to wear and not expensive but a bit of a big job to do a handbrake the tractor has to be split to do the handbrake which is a big job but it's very cheap it's 150 euro for the disc um, so maintenance cost depreciation will be very low i think this tractor's nearly worked what we paid for 10 years ago um, which you couldn't say anything like that about, about a more modern tractor so there's some local dealers have been trying to tempt us into newer machines but it's very hard to see. I don't mean the tractor's 18 years old now. I don't know how long we're going to be able to keep going with them. I've no intention on changing them. We're probably going to buy more of them if we can get them, especially low hour ones. Uh, we just really like them and, and they just do our job for us. So now that you've seen Case MX is in action, your problem is that you're going to want one and you're going to have to get by us to get one. So this one's not for sale.